Okay, good morning folks. Now, if you're one of the few people that's seen my last video with the title, They're Modern Egyptians, I've deleted it because I thought it's more fun if I did this way. I had a better idea. I thought uh, uh, I've got a brainwave. Now, regarding the thumbnail, I did that to draw you in because I want to piggyback off the controversy that's taking place about the new Cleopatra documentary that's coming up where she's portrayed as a black woman. But I'm not going to talk about that today, right? It's sort of on the back of that, but not really that subject. So because of that controversy, I've noticed that a lot of modern Egyptians accusing that Afrocentrics of theft, stealing their culture. Okay, so in a previous video I made, I, I said that there, there seemed to be a bit of a confusion with the term black because once you say a black person to most people, they visualize a West African. So in that video, I sort of cleared up the confusion by replacing the word black with African. And, um, but I tell you what, it's easier if you just watch that video and um, everything will be explained with that. So I'm not going to go through the whole monologue about that. Anyway, but today, today, today what I want to do, um, I want to have fun with, with the modern Egyptians, the so-called Afrocentrics, and myself. So th this is what we're going to do. It's going to be this, 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 the scenario is we're in court. We're in a court of law. I am part of the jury because I am not making no claims. I am a spectator here, right? The modern Egyptians are the prosecutors and the Afrocentrics, uh, they have a defense lawyer defending the Afrocentrics. Okay, so what's happened is a video came up in my feed and um, so I'm curious to get in feedback from modern Egyptians on this video that came up in my feed so so this is where the court of laws come up so the modern Egyptians are prosecuting the Afrocentrics for stealing a culture so the defense lawyer of the Afrocentrics has presented a witness and the witness is the artifacts that's shown in this video. So that's the defense of the Afrocentrics is the artifacts um, in this video uh, claiming, no, they're not stealing a, a culture. So therefore, once you watch that video, then I'm curious to hear what's the prosecutor's um, take on the artifacts that defend, the, the, the defense has brought forward. So um, I will put the video at the end of this clip. I think it's better if you actually click onto the link because then you see the video in full screen. Cause I don't really have a laptop to sort of put it on screen proper, properly. I just, and um, so, so, um, yeah, so that's what I would suggest. Go into the link and you get a full view of the actual video. The video is only something like, it's only like 15 seconds long, 20 seconds long. So it's, it's, not, like, it's, not, it's not like it's going to take a lot of your time. But in, that, in the short time, it still says a lot. So I'm interested in the feedback from modern Egyptians uh, with the artifacts in this video. Me, myself... I'm not making no claims. I'm a spectator, but I would, I would, I'm, I'm interested to hear what their take is on on this. Okay, thank you very much, and um, I look forward to hearing your feedback. Thank you very much. Okay, bye. Civilization itself. Many modern Egyptians of Levantine phenotype like to think that they were the original Kemetu. Let's compare them to the true original people from the Nubio-Kemetic civilization complex before the Greek and Semite mass immigration at the end of Kemet, in 332 BC and later. See for yourself. You will notice that many of these statues are rarely shown. In fact, even on Wikipedia, they rarely show the faces of the pharaohs, especially the ones with more pronounced Bantu features. Follow us and see how those who are said to be without history burst.